Well, hello everyone. This is Cranky Jono, back again after a long week of trying to figure out what was going on with our recording equipment. Uh, we believe there's a hardware problem. So we're going to do this from the computer. Um, I have, I have, I say, uh, somebody a lot smarter than me has hooked all this up so that I can play from here and share what very little wisdom that I have. Um, we're going to run into a few little glitches here and there because I'm not really good with a computer, but I've got a joypad hooked up to it. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do the hunt 2021 or the hunt goes burr. I've got the spreadsheet set up. I've got everything set up. And thankfully, luckily, because it is the hunt, um, we have to start with a fresh character, which is good because I have no characters on this version. Um, I'm not sure if I can skip this, uh, because it's my first playthrough, but we're going to keep trying to punch the button until we do. Um, yeah, okay, for those who don't know, the hunt is a scavenger hunt type playthrough that is set up by Killer6 every year. It was set up by somebody else originally. I don't remember the man's name. I'm sorry if I forgotten or that or I just can't pronounce it um, the point is is that it is done for charity don't all donations a hundred percent of the donations whether you're buying swag or whether you're getting donations through all go to st. Jude's research hospital in the United States which is a completely um, non-profit research hospital and they can use all the help they can get. And it's for, it's for kids who don't deserve the situation they're in. So we're going to help them out. Now, I have no followers. So I expect that I will have very little on the way of donations. So I am... Um, I haven't... I haven't... Uh, <laughs> I'm doing this... On the cuff. This is just for fun. I haven't registered. It's a completely unregistered play. Um, it's done in the spirit of. I'm doing it with all the rules intact. Um, I've read the rules. I know what they are. I'm going to follow them exactly. And uh, we're going to go for Moe's in this playthrough. Because I'm going to need to start a new whole bunch of characters. All right. So away we go. I'm over here. Before we wreak our righteous vengeance, you'll need to register your echo in this quick change. Must be to keep the code, I'll be famous. And when I'm signing autographs, I need you looking sharp while defending me from my Okay, I'm not even gonna have half of what I usually have, so we're just gonna uh see what's up here. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. You know, nothing to respect, obviously. But we will uh Hmm. I wonder if uh this is a good plan. And for those of you who heard me type, um now you know why I don't. Okay. Now, let's pull the mail. So we can dump the mail. Come on. Move along. Since none of this is allowed, none of it can be used. Skip that crap. I'm just going to... Uh, Okay. It's giving me Xbox buttons and I'm using a PlayStation controller, so that's why I'm confused. 
Although, you know, confusion is kind of normal for me to begin with. Locked until end of story, which is good because we can't use Guardian Ranks anyway. Not that we have any. Because first time playing through on a PC. All right, I can stay right there. I don't know why these pop back up. I have to tune this a little, a little bit more loose. I like it a little bit more. Anyway, um, okay. Just to fill everybody in, we're gonna do this like a boss rush, so. What you're going to be seeing is a lot of just boss fights. There's not much else. It's a lot of floaty crap. And so that I'm not making two-hour YouTube videos, it's probably the easiest thing to do, the best thing to do. Um, other than maybe getting a world drop, because you can only claim one. Um, it'll be bosses, sub-bosses. Anybody you can get good legendary gear out of, or the mandatory blue or purple stuff which you will be able to see when I pull up the spreadsheet to add numbers, if I make any numbers. Because yesterday I tried this in our uh, in our attempt to figure out what was wrong with the hardware or software or whatever it was, and we did realize it was hardware after a bit. By hooking all this up here on the computer, um, I think I only got maybe three or four points. But it's six hours of playing. Just one of those things. First playthroughs, you're not getting much. In any event, um, other than going on and on about how Killer6 is a wonderful person for doing this, and this is a, for a great cause, I guess we're just going to cut right to the boss. I'll talk to you then. All right, we're about to go to go after Shiv. Now I know I'm showing you footage here of first run playthrough. You're not going to get anything off this guy, but he is a boss. He's the first boss, so we're going to run through it, go through the motions of taking down this knob head. Well, that was brilliant. That's better. That's a KIA on the knife wielding maniac. Super dead. Score one for the Crimson Raider. You and Claptrap secure. All right. Well, we took him apart quick enough. Uh, he's really not the hardest in the world to deal with, though, as we all know. Now, oh, what to start with? We're definitely going to put the point in... Why don't I have a point? Oh, point. That sucks. I thought I had a point. This is what happens when you don't do these tutorial levels, usually. Um, <laughs> now we're going to put the first point in Fire of the Skagged in, and still will when I get that opportunity. Where's what weapon I'm going to use first? Well, normally I go with the railgun almost every time but it really does take a lot out of bear right off the bat so we'll start with the minigun first I'm on my way. um we'll change it up because the blue tree doesn't really access any of the miniguns or railguns uh perks or abilities Recruit? so yeah all right, well, that was Shiv. That's my attempt for the build so far. And we will come back again when, I believe, we're in the drought. And uh, we can actually do something worthwhile for you, other than watching a lot of tutorial crap and me talking to Lilith. All right, we'll see you in a bit.
All right, here we go. Lavender Crowley. You can drop the Linoge. And... Oh shit, I can't remember what the submachine gun is. Because at the moment, I'm a little busy thinking strategy. Wow. Not sure if I'm going to get him. That was a waste. The Lavender Crawler is the main target, and even if I die, I've got him. But without killing everybody else, I won't get a damn thing otherwise. And I'll have to refarm him later. Not that I'm going to get anything out of this anyway. Wow. Cling him. Holy. Cupcakes. Wow. Come on, where's Bear? I need Bear back really bad. Three of these assholes at me. Yay. Okay, well, it helped a bit. the wings off him. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Bitch. Nah, I'm done. Okay, no points. That's the way it goes. Again, I got the hunt, but which means I got a lovely stage coach from Hammerlock. That's about as far as that goes. Yes, please. Now, the Red Queen isn't a bad grenade, but um, for moving targets, it just sucks. Wasn't going anywhere. I thought I had him a couple of times, and nope. Out of it.
Gonna need ammo. After that. Flight risk adventure. Of course, they're up at about level 9, and I'm at level 5, so... Whoops. That, uh... Was not exhibiting firearm safety. I had my finger on the trigger. Not good. Okay. We're good with shields. We're fine. Okay. Now, yeah, the old laundry. Let's skip over here. Just keep punching that right hand button if you're on a control pad. It's the circle if you're uh, on a PlayStation. I have no idea what it is with an Xbox, even though it's giving me Xbox controls. In any, in any sense, you can just fast travel right over to the car and just keep punching that button and you'll find yourself just next to the car. Could have been it. Not an important thing, it's just one of those little things I find handy. Age coach. Bye. I gotta make it clear that I'm usually not used to starting down the lower ends here. They're mainly tutorial. I'm used to skipping a 13 when I make a new character. That's why I want to keep going over this crap. In any event, we need to do this here. first. Alright. Now we've got the uh... dump truck to deal with here he could possibly drop a couple when is TK's wave uh, the other is is it a shield I can't recall like I said I don't usually start here anymore and then the Demiskagans around the corner which they're always good for a night hawking or an iron wheeled molecule uh, monocle and I believe is it the hunted Blue Rarity Sniper Rifle. In any event, if they give up any of those, it'd be good to have, as well as finally give me some points. Need some points on the board. Because not only am I lagging behind by a couple of days now, again, not that I plan on winning anything, but I would have liked to have followed along at a regular pace. Hi. Damn it. Was oh, that what that grenade does? Wow. Cool. No idea. <laughs> I'm also so used to using high end legendary stuff that some of this, uh, Lower rarity stuff, I'm just sitting here going, well, this is cool to learn what this is. It's been ages since I've done this. So it feels like ages. This dump truck. Yeah, dude, show me your ass. Starfist! Bitch boy. Whoa, I thought that was a sticky. What's going on here? Nice. Killing, 
Yeah, he gave me nothing. Oh well. Wait, there's a purple in there somewhere. Oh, finally. Ooh, a TDR. Oh, really? Come on, guys. Can you give me garbage? Well, not a big fan of the TDR, but let's see how it works out against the Demis Gagans. Oh, good. got a fast fire rate at least. That's good news. Cool. Wow. Okay. Well, I took care of them in short order, which was nice. But they didn't give me goddamn thing. I guess our next uh, objective will be to do the big suck and then we will do yeah skag dog days and the undertaker and we'll come back when we're going after the chef and truffle munch and butt munch and then the undertaker all right see you in a bit all right now we've taken out all the uh, skags, gotten all the fruit off the cactus like the flora. Now we're going after truffle munch, butt munch, and this POV chef. You don't want to shoot these things in range or truffle munch, butt munch, or mince meat, because they will turn on you while you're doing that. And I wanted to save this for them. Because they're over leveled for me as well. Really? Put skags and psycho masks on a bunch of dickheads.
Okay, and once again, nothing. So, I'll turn you back on for the Undertaker. In a bit. Okay, here we go. Before we hit uh, Asphalt Peaks, go after Mouthpiece, which I believe is the only piece there that's worth anything. Uh, the only, uh, sorry, the only named villain. This is not going to be easy. Okay. I gotta say, the one thing I really dislike about doing this to the computer, the fact that I got no force feedback in this joypad, so I don't know what I'm getting hit from behind. Not the time to have to reload, you know? Looks like I finally got some points, which is where I got them yesterday, when I was mucking around. Which is the storm front. So, yes, I'm going to pause this for a second. We're going to bring it over here, and huh. that was supposed to bring that up, but it didn't. Okay, I beg your pardon while I uh, mark this. I don't know, maybe that did hit the screen. Who knows? I don't know what I'm doing with this computer, so <laughs> for all I know, I'm not even filming anymore. I'm an idiot. But we're going to take that. We're going to use that, because why not? Why shouldn't I? I won it. I earned it. Hmm. I got a skill point I just realized that I haven't used. That was from giving Claptrap his uh, antenna. And yes, I am. I'm not doing all of the little submissions. I'm doing a few of them that make sense, that are quick, to either get me uh, type into Leon's chess or to get me some quick XP points. Um, otherwise, I'm going to bypass quite a few of them because they do take a lot of time. Anyway, um, I guess we'll see that mouthpiece. Talk to you in a bit. I forgot about Scrack. Drops his Skexel on the uh, Executor. That one I remembered. I'm not going to remember all of them, I'm afraid. Uh, out of all those items, it's just impossible for me. Uh, a lot of these things I don't even use, so I don't farm. All right, he's gonna wipe me real soon. So we're gonna take him out with the car. Well, mainly with the car. I'm gonna try to get the last of his XP by jumping out of the car. I don't always win at this. That's 
pretty good. There we go. Unfortunately, I got nothing. So, now, we'll see a mouthpiece. Well, we're at mouthpiece. We have fought through the hordes of little bastards to get here. Still have, well, I have a TD or some machine gun. I got a couple of levels up from the five and got a level seven. It served me rather well. I guess for base game, it's fine. I wouldn't use these in Mayhem, but that's just my call. I find them cheaply made. I don't like the throwing option. I'd rather just change a magazine for Christ's sake. In any event, this is old Screamy. Here, big boy. Bring it. Oh yeah, I also changed the sub or the uh, machine gun option in bear to missiles. That's more damage. They're going for that splash. Okay, we got the killing word. That's a given. It's probably worth all of about one point. We will look it up. Well, uh, whoops. Hello. I don't let Tyrene go on, but, uh, would give anybody fits. Let's see if this will actually pick up this time. Hmm, I'm not sure if it is or not. It's supposed to pick up on the record screen. I'm not sure if it is in any event. I know this is way up at the top here. In blue. And yes, it's worth one point. It's the very first thing on the list, so... One. And then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can uh, go get our goodies while Tyrene and walking on. For some reason, we can't see the video footage she was talking about. Oh, because I was looking in the wrong goddamn way, because I'm a moron. In any event, I was going to pick up a few things I can sell. I don't ever bother with shields to sell. Shields are the cheapest thing on the, uh, on the maps, but... We, uh... Just give some thought here to what's next. Don't think. I knew you'd find the map killer. Bring it back. And don't let it out of your sight. I lost it once. This little shortcut's courtesy of Jolt. Just so I don't have to wait for the gate. Doesn't really matter. The gate will be open now anyway. Make some money. Check to see if there's anything worthwhile in here. And there's not really. A couple of sellables. And uh, we'll go back and talk to Lil. So I will probably be talking to you guys. Um, can't see me coming back in till Promethea, but we'll see. All right, talk to you later. Okay, so here we go, boys and girls. We're coming after uh, Max and Rax. 
on top of that, we got uh, Foreman Nate. Of course, is a take on Norman Bates. Was the psycho stabber, the cutsman. The other two idiots, they've moved other stuff like um, there's a shield they shouldn't even have. The messy breakup. I'm not entirely sure if or what else they carry. I know every name boss has more than one, sometimes more than two. There's a few of them that have so many that it's ridiculous. Wait till we get to the agonizer. Bear with me here. I'm just going to get this. Because that's going to get me some XP, even if the weapon's in the box of crap. XP is good. As I cross that little bridge here, I'm gonna have Borman Nate. I'm gonna whip this gun at him. And I missed him completely. Oh, yeah, right, it's got Merv on it, so who cares? <laughs> Ooh, that one hit him. Wow, that was bad. As was that load of ammo. Wow, okay. Enough of that. Oh, well, look at that. I didn't go to the supply vehicle because I'm a fucking moron. Holy shit, am I a moron. Although, is the saw bar one of his? Uh, well, excuse me, boys and girls. We're going to check. Wouldn't doubt if it is, but, uh, wow. <laughs> Sawbar, Borman Nates, two points. There we go. Two more points. I'm up to five. Fucking rocking here. Let me just pull up Hot Carl's there. Uh, I'm not really good with a mouse. Sorry. Um. Yeah, and I just went to Chunk Stomp. <laughs> God, I'm useless with this. Holy shit, this is the way we're going to do this from now on. This is going to be ridiculous. Two more points. Woohoo! Yee! Isn't that special? That's special. On top of that, I have a sawbar. Which, uh,. Some of you might say, kind of useless, Jono. I say, you have no idea. Main game stuff, it's pretty friggin' good. Whoops, 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 whoops. That's not what I meant to do. I'm still getting used to dealing with the commands. My PS4 joypad that is mapped to an Xbox. Yes, my life usually is this chaotic and full of turmoil. Now, 
the main mission we were here for was Max and Rax, and of course, because I did not go to the supply vehicle, if you look in the top right corner, I fucked it all up, which, not a big surprise. It's not the first time I've done that, but we can, uh, we can fix this. We can fix this. Let's hit the afterburners here. Avoid this dickhead. He's not much of an issue. And it's right up here by this knocked out pillar. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Supply vehicle. If you don't do all the parts in order, then you're not going to get what you need. Why did I do that? There was no need for that. Stupidity rolls on. Honestly, don't know which one is horrible enough to have murdered my family. Uh, just pick one to kill, I guess. I'll consider that my payback. I trust your judgment. They're gonna kick that civilian off that precipice, and there's nothing we can do about it. Hate that. Okay, once you get one, the other one just sort of goes, yeah, okay. Whatever. Then you go back to her to get the reward, and it depends on how long you take as well. She'll turn around and go, uh, I'm not sure. You want to go murder the other one for me? Thanks. Yeah, all right. No worries. You're only real through my eye. Ready to come. Where the hell did these idiots come from? Fresh targets over here. What's up? You know what? I'll go through this later. There's no reason to put you people through this. All four of you. Be three once I'm done. All right. We're going to... Uh, back to Ziff. Gave us a mission. Bye. We're going to try to catch up. You guys can't drive for shit. We all know it. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Oh, my tires just kiss that boot post. Got a sub boss coming up. Of a bounty. Not kind of a bounty. It is a bounty. Sorry. All right, we're going for Baron Naga now. He's a bounty here. He gives up pieces. I can't remember what pieces other than the Super Ball, and I only remember that piece, the piece of shit. And I never want to farm it, so. All right, sorry about that. What happens when you're playing this on a new system for the first time?
Love it. I got something. Executor, which I don't think is his. I mean, didn't I just mention that on another one? Executor, executor, executor. Yeah, yeah, a scrack. I think that scracks. Wait a second, let me clear these dicks. We're gonna look that shit up. Shit to sell. And this. How sad. Oh, you know what? I was going to pass the burger one. Shit. God damn it. Oh, sorry. I might have to do the submissions on this. Lorelei. I'm such a noob, but it comes to computers. What happens when you're old and you refuse to change your ways? Remember this, boys and girls, it's a cautionary tale. Don't be old and don't change your ways. Oh no, wait, that's wrong. You can be old, but by all means, change your ways. Because otherwise you're a knobhead. Oh, you know? You want to fuck around? All right, you know what? At the moment, we're not going to go after the Minesweeper. Oh, hell, you know. Damn it. I am. I'm going to do it. Looks like Reese's agent is in the Mercantile Plaza. Malawan's got a weapons depot set up inside the mall, and I'll be yeah. to bullets that... All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go back and I'm going to do these missions that I'm supposed to do. To get the Minesweeper. Because it's either that or I use it as my one and only world drop. I'm kind of saving that to hopefully get a Dictator. Um, because 1.6% chance of dropping from the Agonizer. Because it's got so many drops in the Agonizer. It's just ridiculously low. We'll see. Doesn't mean this will happen. Means we're gonna try it. And we'll be back to uh give you an update um when I actually ready to fight him. Uh otherwise. Um mm, by the way, this here, pulled that out of a vendor. Doesn't count. It's just, it's a sickle. And a sickle with Moe's, boom or otherwise, is just a beautiful pairing of destruction and force majeure. In any case, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to you again when I get to uh, Captain Burgermeister, or whatever the fuck his name is, and uh, we rip him a new one. All right? See you in a bit. What's Commander Knox? General Knox. Why was that in there? Why hasn't anybody noticed that before? Pretty sure that's General Knox's voice. Borderlands 1 is one that I went through over and over again myself. I kind of missed the boat on 2. I, I, I played it. I just did not get extensive into it. and Really didn't care for its ultimate Vault Hunter mode or 
but I never did get into the OP level, so I hated slag. I hated the fact that you absolutely needed it to beat anything. Pissed me off. Didn't do it. <clears throat> but BL1, I loved. I absolutely loved it. It was something new and different and exciting. Where first person shooters goes. And at the time, it was innovative. I know that voice. And if I could get some clarification from somebody like, say, Jolt's dude, who's run that even more times than I have. That would be absolutely thrilling on so many levels. Because I don't think that that's been recognized before. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll go over some YouTube stuff tonight and see if anybody else has seen that or heard that. But uh, that was General Knox's voice, I'm sure of it. Holy shit. Well, uh, if I've actually found something that nobody else has found, that would be amazing. If anybody else has heard or seen that, or obviously you don't see it, anybody else has heard that, please let me know. I, I'd really like to get some input on that. That was something else. That's going to be it for now, boys and girls. Um, I've made all of five or six points. Out of so many thousand. Um, but I do think that I have picked out a voiceover that I hadn't heard before in the game. I don't think anybody else has either. Um... Well, stay tuned for that. In any event, uh, I will be back here tomorrow uh, doing the same old shit. And uh, as I said before, buy that swag. All right? That merchandise, 100% of those proceeds go to that hospital. And they need it. The kids need it. So get it in you. Or on you. Or whatever. It's necessary, all right? Uh, if you can't afford the merchandise, if you can't afford the swag, I dig that. Follow your your your, your favorite streamer. Go to his, 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 his Twitch. Subscribe. Say hello. Even if you don't want to talk to anybody, you don't have to. Lurk. Have a good time. Watch what they're doing. Anything they do during this period of time is going to go towards that end. Right? This, this, this is a very good cause. And we should all really support it. I'm going to record some more crap tomorrow. Um, uh, before I do, I'm going to go follow Killer6 on his Twitch. Normally, I just lurk in the background when he does this shit. Uh, I've been a big fan of his for a long time on YouTube. But I think I'm actually going to subscribe and say hello. Alright? Because he needs to know that I'm backing him 100% on this. He's the one that's put this together and uh, I have a lot of respect for what he does here. Alright? So until tomorrow, talk to everybody later. Have a good one. Bye.